Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. For a radio audience tuning in to WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all can be with us. Also, it's tuning in through iHeartRadio and Amazon Music. Be glad you all could be with us as well. This time of year, of course, a lot of people think about the holidays getting together, but our next two guests are not only spreading some great messages, but also some great music as well. We're excited to welcome recording artists and also songwriters, Nico Moon and Anna Moon, to our broadcast. We're celebrating a brand new single together, All I Want for Christmas is You, but also sharing some great inspirational messages as well. We're going to talk to them not only about this year, what it's been like for them to share their music with the world, but also to remind us all about what's important as well. Nico, Anna, thank you again for the time. We really do appreciate it. Hey, thanks so much for having us. We're so excited to be with you. Look, the pleasure is definitely all mine. So, Nico, I want to kick things off with you. You've had quite the year. Of course, we, our audience probably knows you've been out on tour. You've been able to share some great music and also, of course, as I mentioned, celebrated the new single with Anna. What has it been like for you, Nico, to kind of look at this year and all the great things that have come your way? You know, looking back on this year, this has probably been the, the biggest year of my whole life. We uh, we got to celebrate uh, our very first child, uh, our mm-hmm. daughter, Lily, was uh, was born, well, I guess now she just turned one, so literally she turned one last week. So wow. it's been an amazing year uh, getting the opportunity to become parents. Uh, the, the second album has been pretty much the, the, the focus of, of the past year for me as well, the, the making of it, and it's going to be coming out January 12th. But um, uh, so excited. Uh for, for the album to be coming out, for everybody to hear what me and Anna have been up to the past year, writing yeah. and, and uh, coming up with with the new album, and uh, enjoying family time, man. Right, right. And Anna, to that point, I mean, that's one of the things that definitely is a great marriage, pun intended, there for your social media. The two of you are able to share great music, but also, of course, to share what really matters. What has that been like for you, Anna, to see the way that people have, yes, come to um, to, to Nico and you for the music, but also, of course, for the inspiration you've been able to share as well? I've been so excited to be sharing more of a personal side um, on my Instagram, especially motherhood. I'm a first-time mom, so I've been sharing a lot about that journey and just what it's like, and I've been really focused as well on sharing uh, mindset, motivation, and positivity because I really am such a believer that, like, if you – if each one of us, even if you have 20 followers, if you put out one positive piece of, of content a day, that's going to touch somebody, and you, and you never know who might read that. It could be your mom. It could be somebody who randomly sees it. But putting out positivity once at least every day I think is so important and something I've been really enjoying doing. Yeah, and I'm going to ask you this question, but definitely, Nico, get you to chime in. You had made a post, Anna, that really struck me uh, on Instagram. We're going to remind our audience that they can stay connected with you, and it was with your daughter. And the thing that you wrote on the post was teaching her that you don't have to fake yourself for the Internet. Share who you are and what you love. You will find your people. What has that been like for you, Anna, to know that just by being yourself, you found your tribe and being able to find success just by being authentic? Honestly, it's so rewarding and relieving, you know. I think for so long a lot of us looked at social media like we have to put our best foot forward and that's what people want to see. But I feel like what's so much more powerful and, um, in fact, like popular these days even, people are wanting to see more of an authentic side to to everyone. I think we're kind of over the veil that social media puts on um, everybody, the rose-colored glasses, if you will, and I think everybody's just kind of like, you know what, I I know that's not real life, and I want to see what what, you, what you're really about. And so I've been really enjoying digging deep into who I am, what I'm about, and sharing that. Yeah. And, Nika, what about for yourself? I mean, it's in your industry, of course, you know, people will always try to compare you to the, being the next X, Y, or Z. What has that been like for you, Nico, to know that just by being true to you and being who you are, that you've been able to find your support system? You know, my dad told me when I was a kid, he said, man, if you just be yourself, then you'll be original. Nobody will be like you because there's only one you. 
And it's such a simple concept, but it's something that I really have held on to throughout my creative journey, just leaning in to myself and really encouraging other people to to, to lean into themselves. And, uh, you know, I think there's a there can be a lot of pressure sometimes, you know, to kind of conform ourselves uh, to what I guess is, you know, socially normal, you know. But I think real creativity and even real happiness comes from getting connected with who you really are inside and, and uh, you know, living your life as much in that state of mind as possible. Such a great point. And that's why, of course, being able to record All I Want for Christmas is You it became a family affair. So, Nico, talk to us about the decision to do the single and what it's like for you to be able to share that with Anna. Yeah, you know, we love Christmas so much. We really do. You know, every year it's our favorite time of year. And we've been talking about wanting to do a Christmas song for a long time. So it was really about finding the, the, the right time of uh, – you know, what what year was going to be the right time to do it. And we've been so busy previous Christmas seasons. But this year we finally had had the ability to, to get in there and record a song And when we were thinking about what song we wanted to do. We just love that song so much. It's such a such an amazing love song that's wrapped up with uh, this Christmas bow on it. And uh, we, we decided we want to kind of take it and almost, uh, since it was a, a more modern Christmas song, give it a, a, a little bit of a classic uh, refresh. Yeah. Love that. And one of the things, of course, people talked about, of course, is being able to see the two of you together with the song, but also, of course, uh, being able to share that together. And I noticed even in your stories, you have been sharing, I mean, people are definitely loving it. What has it been like for you to see, Anna, the way that people are responding to the single? Oh, I'm just so tickled. It's like, because, you know, Nico is, is the singer of us, too. He's He's the performer, and I am much you know, more comfortable behind the scenes. But this was such an amazing opportunity and just a great experience that I had to do it. And I've been having so much fun um, seeing everybody's reactions, and it's given me a lot of confidence um, just in my singing abilities, I guess, if you will, but also just uh, confidence in, in putting myself out there, which has been really great. Nico, I didn't introduce you as a country artist. I have learned over the years in this in this program that, you know, sometimes, you know, these days, I mean, when people, you know, you introduce them a certain way, people automatically think a certain thing. But, of course, people know you, of course, as a, as a country singer. But what has it been like for you to even be able to show people how country music is really universal music? It really is the story that all of us can relate to. Yeah, you know, I think uh... – I think sometimes there can be this stigma that that country music is this one particular thing that maybe people have in their minds. But really what I think of as country music is just songs about small-town life. And, uh, you know, me and Anna both grew up in, in smaller towns in Georgia, and there's a beauty to to that. There's a simplicity and a, and a pace of it, just really, really nice. And, you know, talking about those sorts of uh, – environment, you know, like being out on the lake, being by the water, talking about uh, uh, those sorts of experiences with a positive mindset around it is, yeah. is for me, my way of kind of trying to, to, you know, maybe I guess you could say expose people who might not typically listen to the country music, maybe right. kind of, you know, be their little gateway drug a little bit, I guess you would say, you know, that, that there's a, there's all kinds of different country music out there in, in the lane that, we really love doing is positive country music, music that right. encourages you, makes you feel optimistic about life because life's too short to not enjoy it, right? Exactly. And, Nico, I saw on your Instagram, of course, while you're out uh, on the road being able to perform, I mean, just that energy coming back at you, them singing the words right, right there with you. I mean, you, it's very obvious that you've made a connection to your audience that they really appreciate, and we're so glad we could share that today with our audience. Again, everyone, Nico Moon and Anna Moon have been our guests. Their new single is All I Want for Christmas is You. It is out now, but also, of course, as you heard Nico mention, more new music is coming as well. So, Nico, how can our audience stick connected with the two of you yeah uh i'm on all the different socials and so is anna so you can check us out wherever uh you like to listen to music wherever you like to hang out on your social networking and we got a new album coming out at the top of the year y'all we're so excited uh the album is going to be all about positivity all about encouragement and we can't wait to see y'all out on the road at a show 
All right, looking forward to that. Nico, Anna, thank you again for the time. Continued success to the two of you, and looking forward to our next conversation together. Thanks Thanks so much for having us. Hey, glad to have you. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Let's go make today amazing. Take care.